Good day and welcome from Harcourt's Signature Properties in Laguna Beach. It's Greg Babakanian um, coming to you today to give you a little bit of information about what's been going on here at Harcourt's and our luxury live auctions. Um, so uh, we are getting quite a few new listings. We're using the luxury auction or the equity auction format uh, process to get new listings. And I thought I'd give you a, a little bit of an information about how the uh, luxury live auction, the uh, equity auction system works. So um, let's take a, uh, let's just take an example. And let's say that you have the traditional, um, traditional listing and an auction. How do you, what, what's the difference? How do we compare and contrast a traditional listing, T-R-A-D, and an auction listing? Well, let's assume that uh, you believe the house is uh, worth a million dollars and that's what you want to sell it for. So uh, on both sides, we're going to say the house is worth $1 million, 1.0 million. And on the traditional side, the way somebody would normally take the listing is say, give me six months. I will, I'll take your listing. We'll list it at one point. 1 million and test the market at that level and see if we get any feedback. And if, if you believe it's worth not 1 million, you, the, the seller, believes it's worth 1 million, normally you're going to be in a neighborhood between 900K and a million. That's what your neighborhood should probably support. If you believe a million is where it's at because everybody thinks their house is the best and you believe your house is better than everybody else's because you put it the way you like it, it lives better than everybody else's, the sun is brighter, the pool is better, whatever. So you believe it's worth a million. So the traditional lister is gonna say, let's start at a million one, see what we can get, see if we get any information from the market. Well, what that does is in a neighborhood that's between 900 and a million, when something comes on the market at a million one, people say, yeah, you know, it's a little bit high for that neighborhood. So let's wait and see what happens with the price. I don't want to look at it. I'm not going to make an offer. Just, just not, it's, it's overpriced for right now. So then time ticks by and uh, the, the listing agent comes back to you and says, listen, you know, we were a little bit over, over zealous here. We asked for a million one and really we need to now lower the price. So you lower the price. Maybe you have to lower it again maybe even lower it again before you start finding out where is the level at which the, the community, the, the people, the market say this house is, is interesting now. So maybe at that point you're below a million. But uh, you start getting offers, you start negotiating offers, and you try and, and put something in escrow. This could take weeks, could take months, it could take quite a long time. Um, and that's the traditional way to do it. What we do with the Harcourt's auction system, we say, okay, if it's a million dollars is what you have to have, Mr. Seller, then we're gonna make that your private reserve. Keep that in your brain, in your head. Uh, we're not going to disclose that to anybody and let anybody know that that's where you need to be. But we're gonna say, all right, a million dollars is where you're ready to sell that house. Let us take it as a luxury auction listing and let's do a bid to start from price at 750,000, all right? And I'm gonna put it out on the MLS, and I'm gonna have a bid to start from price as an auction of 750,000. Well, you're gonna say, Greg, I'm never selling it for 750,000. And I'm gonna say, Mr. Seller, I don't expect you to sell it from 750,000. This is a net that we're, we're casting, a very wide net getting as many eyeballs in to look at your house as possible. As opposed to a traditional listing where you put an MLS box, you know, a key box on there, and people come and go as they please, they bring their agents. What we do with the auction listings is we say there's no box, there's no come and go willy nilly, there's no inconveniencing the, 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 the seller. We will have one open house a week for two hours a day. So on a Saturday or a Sunday, we'll hold it open for two hours once a week. We'll do that for four or possibly five weeks in this price range. Now, I'm going to field the phone calls. There's going to be phone calls from agents saying, I want to see it now. I, I, my people are only available right now. And I'm going to say, well, if your people are only available to look at this million dollar house or a house in the million dollar neighborhood right now, then they're really not that interested. They don't, if they're not going to change their plans to be able to come to the open house, then I don't want to be in escrow with them because it's just not going to be a good thing for everybody. So what we do is we push everybody through during those two hours and we get a lot of eyeballs. People see the 750,000 start price and they walk in, they go, what's this auction? And I give them my five minute elevator speech and I let them know that 750 is the equivalent of a zero. Don't even think about it. Give me your best price. The auction happens on whatever date. That's, that's our date when we'll have paddles and everything. If you want to stop the auction, give me an offer. The seller 
maintains the ability to stop the auction at any time. If we get an offer in that approaches or uh, surpasses his private reserve, the, the seller has the option to say, you know what, that's good enough, Greg. Tell everybody else we're not gonna do the auction. I'm choosing this listing. So the first day, first, first open house, 50, 60, 70 people will come through because of this differential in price between what the neighborhood will support and what our bid to start from price is, we get a lot of people in. But we also get people in that are qualified to to buy in that neighborhood. We will get a few that this may be the top end of what they can qualify for, but those people are just as useful because those people we can use against the people who are our real buyers. So we'll get an offer at 750, we'll get an offer at 800, we'll get an offer at 850. Within the first week, we'll get three or four offers. We'll work them against each other, and this number keeps jumping up and up and up. And as you can see, the difference between starting high and going low is I have to go back to, the, to you, the seller, and say, eh, we need to reduce the price. And you don't like when I ask you that. You don't like when I say, oh, because you think when I put it at 1.1, one, one, in your mind, you're getting 1.1 million. I knew it was never gonna get that, but I gave that you that number so we had room to move down. Well, human psyche says you want that 1.1. One, one. And now when I ask you to go back to a million, you're mad at me. In this side, I said, don't worry, we're never taking 750. We're telling the whole world this is an opening bid price, and this price does nothing but cast a wide net. And now I'm bringing you offers. Here's another, here's a 750, here's an 800, here's an 850, here's a 900. Here are offers that you will never take, but we can work against them, each other. The two say, listen, hey, there's a lot of, there's a lot of interest in this house. We have a lot of offers. If you want to stop the auction, come with your highest and best. Bring us an offer that gets close to what you know the neighborhood will support, somewhere between 900 and a million, and let's see if we can't take it to the seller and stop the auction. The seller has the option to stop it at any time or go all the way through to auction day and auction it. So we took this process, we've done it quite a few times, but the most recent one we did was in your Belinda. I'll tell you that, that we were in this a neighborhood that was in this price range. Um, our starting bid price was about around this range. And within three weeks, we had four offers. We had three relatively low offers, all cash. We had a 50% down. We had a standard financing. Then we had a fourth offer come in in the second week that was right in the sweet spot, right where we needed to be. And we negotiated that one with the other two, the other three that were still there. And one of them backed out, so we were down to three. Um, and we went into escrow. We went into escrow at the highest price that neighborhood had ever seen well above where the seller had set his reserve. And we did it within three weeks. And one of the other offers didn't understand, didn't really believe that we had multiple offers, so they wouldn't go up to where the seller wanted to be or to beat this other offer. And once they found out we were in escrow, they called me back and said, hey, we'd like to put in a backup offer. So now we have this, pro this property in your Belinda in escrow at the highest price in that neighborhood ever with a backup offer that's a over the price of the one that we're in escrow on. The process works. Uh, it's a quick process. We had, uh, I've had another call since we went into escrow from a lady down the street saying, how did you sell that house so quickly? And I told her about this and she said, come to my house, please. And give me a, a, you know, tell me about it. I told about her and her husband and they signed up to do the exact same thing in the same neighborhood. So it's a great tool. It's a great way to sell a house. It's about turning real estate on its head and changing the dynamic, changing the way we do things and making your property stand out from the crowd and getting a lot of people excited in a short amount of time and getting your house sold. Thank you for listening. I uh, hope you have a great day. Uh, if you want to talk to us, you have a property you'd like to sell, you want to know more about this process, call us at 949-307-6322. Here we are in Harcourt Signature Properties in Laguna Beach. I'm Greg Babakani and have a great afternoon.